Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing lime wash. And this wash is super fun and it just makes your colors pop on your baby. And I love how this turns out. So getting out your green 06, add that to one tablespoon of odorless thinner, and I covered my brush on both sides with the lime green, or not the lime green, the um, green 06. And then of course, rinse your brush off in your brush cleaner so that your brushes stay well conditioned and clean. Don't you just love how in all of my videos, I'm always wearing my pajamas. I should call my videos pajama paint day or pajama day or painting in your pajamas and then I don't know if you notice but I added the yellow with a fourth inch brush to make that lime green you can just add a touch of yellow or you can coat both sides it's up to you it really will not hurt the paint at all to add a tiny bit extra yellow in there. And then you've got your lime wash. And the way I do washes is I just take my big fluffy mop brush and I brush the paint on generously. And I do this fairly quick because I don't think that it really matters. You just quickly cover all of the vinyl um, with the lime color, the lime wash color, and then you use a, a wedge, a cosmetic wedge. Oh, of course, use your brush to hold it or a wooden spoon or whatever you have that's a little bit sturdy to hold your vinyl. And then just pounce all that extra paint off with a cosmetic wedge. And I got all of my cosmetic wedges from... Um, Ulta. <laughs> so I got a great big bag of cosmetic wedges and they've lasted me for a year actually. I just barely ran out. So they've lasted me a whole year. And then you can also get cosmetic wedges from Walmart in a big bag. They're really inexpensive. I wouldn't suggest that you go to a beauty supply store to buy your cosmetic wedges other than Ulta because the ones they have at their beauty supplies are smaller. They're not as big. It's up to you, whatever is easiest. You can go to Walgreens or CVS, wherever you wanna go get those cosmetic wedges. Just make sure you stock up because you will use them on all of your painting, your babies. And then of course, I always save all of my paint for other babies. You don't want to throw any paint away. So if you want to mix up your colors in little baby food jars or little tiny jam jars or any kind of cute little jar to save your washes, because this one is the lime, the lime green wash. And you will use this after you've done a lot of the pink washes that you do just to make those colors pop or to tone down any Thing that you might need to neutralize or whatever. I just think it just makes the colors more vibrant and I like that. So that's why I use the lime green wash. And of course you can get some vinyl gloves at, I got mine from Ulta as well, but you can get them from um, Amazon. And of course my my paint brushes I got from Dolls by Sandy. They're the baby stroke brushes and I love them so much because I got every brush I needed. It came in a set. And when you buy sets of things, it just makes you feel more confident that you have the brushes that you need. And you're not thinking, oh shoot, did I forget to buy the right kind of brushes? The sets just give you exactly what you need. Um, I think Bountiful Baby and McPherson's also have sets of baby reborn brushes that you can get. 
also it depends on your favorite place to buy your doll baby supplies whoever whoever you buy those from go ahead and pick up some brushes I'm just partial to the baby strokes brushes because they're pink and you know the handle on your brushes if you want to maintain um, a nice looking brush that doesn't get look damaged after you've made a few baby dolls make sure you only rinse them in the brush cleaner and don't leave them sitting in the brush cleaner that way the paint won't wear off of the handles and get all chipped that's a hard lesson to learn as a new artist sometimes you just leave all your brushes laying in the liquid and that liquid will eat, eat away to the paint and then your paint handles or the handles on your paint brushes will get damaged and then they won't look as nice and then you'll end up throwing them away so if you want to keep really nice pretty brushes rinse them well and then lay them out to dry that's what i would suggest doing because your brushes are expensive i think a set of baby stroke brushes are 45 dollars for the set of eight and then if you buy a larger set it's like 60 bucks so all right moving on we're just applying our lime green wash to our baby's vinyl and then letting it flash off flash off is when you allow your vinyl to for the odorless thinner to evaporate and then you bake in your new wave oven for eight minutes and let cool for about 10. That's why you always want to work on two baby dolls at a time so you're not sitting waiting for baby's vinyl to cool. You've got something else to work on while it's cooling. Also, I don't know if this is your first baby doll or if you've painted other baby dolls, but the method that we do to apply the paint is called pouncing. And what you do is you just pounce the paint or brush the paint on and then pounce it off with a cosmetic wedge. And now I'm going over my vinyl with a dry brush, a dry brush mop, the fourth inch one, and just checking the creases to make sure that there isn't any paint that has collected in the creases. And I know this is gonna sound repetitive if you watched quite a few of my videos, but it's really necessary because if you bake without checking those creases, sometimes paint will collect there and you'll have to scrape it out with a toothpick. And check your work make sure before you bake that everything looks just the way you want it to look and that there isn't any paint collecting anywhere in the creases or in between the fingers
now we're just about done with pouncing the paint make sure it dries completely before you put it in your new wave oven to bake and then bake at 265 degrees for eight minutes and let cool for 10. all right thank you so much for watching have a fabulous awesome day